What's up guys, it's TechRacoon back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a laptop which probably has the best keyboard in the market and better still, it's only for $200. The laptop I'm talking about is the Lenovo Yoga 11e and specifically the ones that are before the current model. The 11e is a mid-range 2-in-1 from 2013. Considering mine survived 6 years in school, it's in pretty good condition, although the battery currently does not work, so you need to keep it plugged into the wall at all times. But apart from that, the laptop works absolutely flawlessly. The specs of the laptop are an Intel Celeron N930, clocked at 1.83GHz, with 4 cores and 4 threads. It also has 4 gigs of RAM and 128GB SSD inside the laptop. Now the Celeron is a really underpowered processor but it's good for web browsing and it's okay for some light photo editing in Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. Probably the worst aspect of this laptop is, is, is the display. Even though it's touchscreen, the resolution is only 1366 by 768 which is pretty low for 2019 and the viewing angles aren't the best either. When looking at the laptop at a 45 degree angle, the colours get faded and the display brightness dims. Now onto the keyboard which is definitely the best part of the laptop. The keyboard on the laptop has basically no flex with plenty of key travel travel and a very nice feel to it and the keys don't really wiggle around much and it's very good to type on. Very comfortable and it's probably my favourite keyboard I've used. Probably even better than a mechanical keyboard but that's just my personal opinion. But you would have to try one to make the decision on what you prefer. The trackpad on the other hand is pretty small and the finger doesn't glide on it very well since it's not a glass surface, it's only a plastic surface and it's not particularly large either. The buttons are hard to press but you will get used to it after a while. One aspect of this laptop which does stick out in 2019 is the I.O. It has two USB ports type A. One of them is USB 3.0, the other is normal USB 2.0. Then it has an Ethernet port, an SD card slot, a charging port, headphone jack, a HDMI port, and that's it. Okay, on to the build quality. This laptop is also known as a tank because the plastic on it is very rugged. It does have a metal backplate on the bottom of the laptop and it feels very, very rugged in the hand. No flex in the display or in the main chassis of the device. So all in all this laptop is great for web browsing, typing documents with that amazing keyboard, doing a bit of light photo editing, definitely not video editing with that CPU, but it isn't bad in general. So that's all from me guys, hope you did enjoy the video, if you did smash the like button, if you didn't smash the dislike button, and I will see you guys next time. Also I got a new camera which is the Canon 70D, so next week we'll be taking a review of that. See you guys next time.